coming up on the five minute point. Four, three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes and counting. We have had a go for APU start. APU start is in work. This is a start sequence. The final chase plane is taken off from Patrick Air Force Base. T minus four minutes, 42 seconds and counting. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Once we get the APU start, we have a total of 12 minutes of hydrazine supply for running the APUs prior to a liftoff. Everything going very smoothly in this count. The APU start is complete. T minus four minutes, 10 seconds and counting. As preparation for main engine ignition, the main fuel valve heaters have been turned off. T minus three minutes, 57 seconds and counting. The final helium purge on the shuttle main engine has been started in preparation for engine start. The liquid oxygen replenish system has been turned off in preparation for pressurization of the tanks uh, for the launch. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds and counting. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready for use in flight. T minus three minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuels from the ground support system for one more additional minute. Coming up on T minus three minutes, T minus three minutes and counting. The engine gimbal, our movement check is underway to assure they're ready for flight control. T minus two minutes, 52 seconds. The LOX valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes, 36 seconds. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds and counting. The The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is using its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The pressure in the LOX tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. T minus two minutes, mark and counting. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. Chuck Hannon has just said smooth sailing baby to astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds and counting. T minus one minute, 20 seconds and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston, you're going throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds, coming up on go, no, go. Columbia, you're in negative seat. Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia is the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Mark. Columbia, you're go for SRB step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB step confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the SEP, Columbia. Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster SEP. Mark, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds. On, gui on board guidance is converging as program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, 2 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. Columbia. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two-engine rotor capability. Mark, 3 minutes. Young and Crippen really moving out now. Velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 15 seconds, Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds, Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. Mark, uh, three minutes, 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Mark, three minutes, 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which uh, says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, uh, press stand on. by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on negative return. Roger, press for Roger, press for Mark, four minutes, eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark, negative return. And your map is good. Mark, uh, four minutes, 25. Five seconds with that. With that call up from okay, Capcom. Yeah. Capcom Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool Columbia. Roger, 
Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, four minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as programmed. Columbia now 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical yeah, miles. Up. Nominal there, man. What a view. What a view. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying it. Mark, uh, five minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per sec. Uh, a status check and mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia, Houston, your go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3.4. Mark, uh, five minutes, uh, 40 seconds. That call up from Capcom, Brandon okay, Stein, says that Columbia is trajectory right navigation and engine performance look good. Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're clear, a little weak. Mark, uh, five minutes, 55 and seconds. Columbia, we just switched over Bermuda. Boy, should be getting better here in a second. Okay, that's good. Six minutes, uh, Columbia now 76 nautical miles in altitude, 280 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 13,000 feet per second. Columbia Houston, uh, could we have the cryo heaters, please? And Columbia, your single engine rota. Mark, uh, six minutes, 25 okay, seconds. That call up from Capcom Brandon Stein says that if two engine failure occurred, Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Rotor Naval Air Station, Spain. Mark uh, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to increase velocity, decrease altitude, giving Columbia her most favorable attitude. Columbia now 72 nautical miles in altitude, 373 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading uh, 16,400 feet per second. Standing by for a single engine uh, Prestamico call up from Capcom Brandon Stein. Columbia, your single engine Prestamico. Mark 7 minutes 20 seconds. That report says that Young and Crippen can achieve orbital insertion even if two engines go out. Mark uh, 7 minutes 30 seconds. Columbia 67 nautical miles in altitude, 485 nautical miles down range. G Force is building for Young and Crippen now up to 3 Gs. Mark uh, 7 minutes uh, 45 seconds. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at six seconds before main engine cutoff. Status check in the control center. Columbia Houston, you're go at eight. Mark eight minutes, four right, seconds. Panel, looking good. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles downrange. Mark eight minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Roger, Columbia, Miko, 2560, up at 220 feet per second. Roger, Columbia, Miko. Confirm shut down. Uh, Columbia, the gem of this new ocean now in space, not yet in orbit. Now, now standing by now for external tank separation. Okay, we've had set. Roger, we confirm the set, Columbia. Nine minutes, three seconds. Confirm external tank separation. Columbia now per performing an evasive maneuver, moving below and beyond and translating the north of the external tank. Uh, Young should see it moving away out of his window. Uh, 